a, a very long but very low altitude long wire for receive as a low noise antenna on 160. And I, I can do that here. But what do you do at the other end? Do you terminate it in a resistor? Somebody, it seems like I saw somewhere just a thousand ohm resistor or something to ground at the far end is all you really need. And the antenna should be, you know, 10 feet up in the air and just uh, play it out toward the direction you want to receive. That's pretty much the basis of it. Well, the last time I was on 160 was with the D368. And I had a dipole laying on top of the tree from the front driveway to the back of the property. That lasted for a few years. But then a storm, a windstorm came through and a branch fell down along that 260 foot run and took out the antenna with it. I just never put it back up. The, uh, the band didn't have that much allure for me to give me enough incentive to put all that back up again. And maybe things have gotten better. I'll look forward to your operating experiences there in the time ahead, Dave. So here it comes. Remember toward the switch there. And let me check what's what here. All right, that looks good too. W2VW, W and WD8BIL, WD8BIL on the side, WA3VJB, and the What's for Dinner Net. Okay. Uh, WA3VJB, WD8BIL uh, from W2VW. Man, this place is, uh, is haunted. Hey, Budley. Good to hear you on. Um, I've heard you a couple of times in other QSOs, and I'm glad that your uh, cochlear implant thingamabobber is working, and like to hear more about it also. Uh, just like Paul. 